This is Master Paku. He is our senior waterbending master. And this is my daughter, Princess Yue, cool. our tribe's spiritual leader. Calm down, dude. <laughs> of Lost. You're all here. J.K. Calloway here. Jumping back into Avatar The Last Airbender. We're on to episode 7. Season 1 penultimate episode. This one is called The North. Trying like hell. Not to mention the word remembers. It's a different series. And if you're too young to get that reference, good for you. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, last we left off, uh, we met another avatar at another temple, uh, Avatar Roku. But the problem is, he was in the Fire uh, Nation area, right? So, Aang had to get in there, get out quick, but seemingly Roku was much more laid back than the previous, the previous avatar that he met. Uh, but that makes sense. Not every avatar is going to be like this hardened, like, you you have to kill everything. You know, like, they're not all going to be the same way. Everyone's going to, you know, do their thing a little bit differently. And that was probably a good thing for Aang. Because, like, I think over the last couple episodes, he was getting a little hardened. He was getting a little less um, silly. Less, a little less childlike. Which is not... What he should be. He's a 12-year-old boy. Like, he should be childlike. He should have fresh eyes to everything. Not just this one track, like, here's what I need to be. You know, which hopefully he takes to heart. And, you know, finds different avenues, different ways to succeed. And to help others succeed. Also, we figured out how to appease Ko. Which is good, because it seems like Ko was ready to kill everybody. Especially Kata uh, Katara and uh, Sokka. So, saved them. Saved that little town, which is awesome. And now I think, it, yeah, it's finally time to go to the Northern Water Tribe. I think is what they're called, right? And their master waterbenders. Because not only him, for himself. Because he does need to learn all of the elemental, you know, uh abilities. I don't, I don't remember what you call it, but Katara too. She needs training. And as, as advanced as she is getting, she was shooting ice discs at people. She's, there's still a lot for her to learn too. But also, there's a little problem going on uh, with Zoku. Uh, and it's essentially that, you know, like he, he's, he's softening a bit. Right? Like, he still wants to find Avatar. He still wants to bring Aang to his dad to take his rightful place as the first in line. But he was softening toward him. Like, briefly. You saw it very briefly. They were, like, getting along when they were both hiding out. But then, you know, he snapped out of it and was, like, tried to attack him. And then again, when Aang saved him and dragged him to a boat, you know, they were getting along saying, hey, one day... Like, in a different life, hopefully when this all passes, we can be friends, is what Aang's telling him. Boom. Like, again, he's like he's programmed at this point to do his dad's bidding and to take his place. Now, what was kind of holding him back was his crew, because his crew did not like him, did not respect him, until we found out <laughs> that, you know, not only did dad give Zoku that scar... But also, Dad assigned that crew who he was actually going to be sacrificing as a, you know, a, a chess piece, essentially, in the war. And he said, alright, you want to save their lives? Well, screw it. They're going with you. You're basically all... Don't ever come back until you find the Avatar. Thinking at the time, there was no Avatar to find ever, so... You know, now they're all on the same page. They all realize that, really, Zoku kind of accidentally, but still, you know, saved all of them. You know? Now they're all on the same page, and they're going to fight to the death for Zoku. 
is that going to continue to soften Zoku and realize that maybe his dad is not right? Or is it going to embolden him to be like, well, I got everything I need now. Let's go get Aang. Enough screwing around. Make sure you do hit like and subscribe if you haven't. Always appreciate that. Uh, lots of fun on the channel coming up, actually, uh, because you're here watching Avatar. You'll be very interested in what we're doing starting next week because there's something coming out in March and we're going to start playing catch up because it's season three of Bridgerton. Same kind of show as Avatar, obviously. But no, uh, we're going to start chopping up seasons one and two, which are shows that we did as a Patreon exclusive. We did the both of those as full season drops on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash JK Reacts. Every episode we do here on YouTube, they are on Patreon. If you want to go check out if there's pieces you, you wanted to see me react to that weren't on YouTube, they will be on Patreon, obviously. But, yeah, we're going to chop up both seasons. And also, uh, as a full season drop, we're going to do Queen Charlotte in uh, on May 1st. So that'll be our full season drop. May 1st, after, and that'll be after we catch up on Bridgerton. And then we'll be ready for Season 3. And plus, everything was $10. We're going to bring that down to 5 uh, for all episodes of Bridgerton starting next week. So, if you're interested, if you like seeing really, really rich British people from like 100, 200 years ago, bang. It's coming to YouTube. Also, every episode we do here on YouTube that we chop up, we give a shout out. So this episode of Avatar, we're going to shout out V5AM. It might just be Veeam. Backwards. E is a three for five, whatever. I don't know, but thank you. <laughs> Thank you for supporting the channel. I really do appreciate it. And yeah, if you want to hear your name said here on YouTube with a shout out, head over to Patreon, support the channel, check out some full reactions. The North. Hmm. If Arya shows up, I'm going to freak out. Anyway, let's jump back into it. Penultimate. See how they, they, they set up the finale. Here we go. He sent his personal guard to bring Prince Zuko back to Capital City, where he is to stand trial for treason. What? Treason? This is Zhao's doing. Somehow he's convinced Ozai you've turned against him. Yeah, but, like, how? She had no idea. It was all too easy to get him to take the bait. That's what I was thinking. It didn't make much sense. But now he's on his own. Which is smart. Uh-huh. Blasting jelly. Prince. A little prick. <laughs> but he's playing his cards well. I mean... It's just a prick about it. It's the Northern Water Tribe. Okay. We did it. We finally made it. This is Master Paku. He is our senior waterbending master. And this is my daughter, Princess Yue, cool. our tribe's spiritual leader. Calm down, dude. <laughs> Do you have a temple? Stop staring. Huh? Yeah, stop staring. Yeah, the hell There's something about her. Have we met her before? The Fire Lord has given me the honor of leading a great armada. But you weren't the first to come to mind for such a prominent mission. I admit that I have little experience. That also means that I have no track record of failure. Unlike you. He will destroy you. Why don't you just go and talk to her? Say what? Hey there, Sokka, Southern Water Tribe. Yes.
Wait. Does that mean she's a shapeshifter? And to heal. Really? Oh shit. That's incredibly useful. Would you like to try it? Sure. Don't cut me. It's about empathy. You must understand what it means to feel pain. Hmm. And take that pain away. When do we get to fight training? Mm. Excuse me? I think my basic forms are pretty good, but I could use help with accuracy. But women don't fight. We use our skills to heal, not to harm. I don't want to just heal. Healing is a noble and sacred tradition. I'd like to train in fighting techniques. In the Northern Water Tribe, women aren't allowed to fight. Aren't allowed? Hello, A. Eh? Cool. I see you made it to the north. Yes, because the northern water tribe's in danger. If she showed you the north being destroyed, then it will happen. But the battle's outcome is still uncertain. The war I'd waged on the spirits damaged my body and corrupted my soul. I still couldn't save the one that mattered the most. A predatory spirit came to seek vengeance on me. Go. The spirit stole her face. Oh. Is something wrong? Tell her she's looking foxy. No, I'm just a little tired. I guess you need to go and recombobulate. I knew it. It was you. Yes. You're the fox. Yes. Oh. Okay. That's a weird ass meet cute. Being the avatar means being the one who bears the burden. Ah, bears. Alone. I mean, where will I be stationed during the battle? Women aren't allowed in combat. I thought you knew. No, I didn't. This is not up for debate. I've been fighting firebenders ever since I left home. Can any of your men say that? That doesn't matter. Why not? Because this isn't about them, it's about you. Women aren't strong enough. Okay, dude. You haven't been training and preparing to lay down your life for everyone here. And I'm not going to let what happened to the Southern Tribe happen here. There were zero waterbenders at the Southern Tribe, though. Like, a uh, different situation. These people need the Avatar. And I can't be the Avatar with you around. Huh. I fear I've underestimated Chow. He's more dangerous than I thought. Yeah, I figured that out as I was swimming away from the burning wreck of my boat. The plan is to reclaim what's rightfully mine. Oh, okay. So no plan. Right. <laughs> it's almost as if he's working with someone else. Someone much smarter. Azula, stop playing games. I'm not the one playing games. This is your last chance. Fight. No. You dare. Whoa. I think that's new. Let me go into the world and show you what I can really do. I'm through playing games here. How the hell did she get lightning powers? How does that work? Go back to the healing huts with the other women. You want to learn how to fight? Study closely. Ooh, her hair's down. Oh! Nice. Where's my super suit? Damn good. You're an excellent waterbender. But you still won't let me fight. No. You gotta give a better reason than tradition. No 
That was incredible. Those ice discs. How did you do that? I don't know if I can protect you. You can't. Yeah, and worrying about who will or won't get hurt, it's not just the Avatar who has to deal with that. Uh oh. So, yep. Fire Nation's here. Time to fight. Okay. I get that as far as airbending, he's very adept, right? Qatar is clearly adept at water bending. And if any of their warriors are half as good as that master, you know, they'll be able to hold their own. But there's clearly a spy. <laughs> that's what Admiral Dude was talking about. There's someone inside working that, that's going to work with them. Um, also, you know, you haven't learned any other... Like, you're not the Avatar yet. You know? Like, I have no doubt eventually you will be. Because you gotta, you got to meet a bunch of masters at some point. Um, so, which means, you know, there will be a season two. But, you know, you just got to survive this fight. Or run away from it. Or evacuate. I don't know. All we really saw from that vision that he was shown is that that tower gets knocked down, right? Doesn't necessarily mean that the city gets taken over. Um, just means that tower gets knocked down. You know, but we'll we'll see in the next episode, obviously. I'm assuming we freaking better. But um, it's been a good season so far. I, I, you know, I hope that last bit with the North saying the women are the healers, but not the fighters. That's only the men. I hope that's part of the cartoon. I hope that's canon. Because otherwise, you know, it's a little bit, you know, shoving a societal issue into the story, which you don't need to do if you don't have to. If it's part of the story, I completely understand. Then yes, it makes sense, because, you know, that was genuinely most Native American tribes uh, and... You know, Inuit, all, all, all that stuff. Like, most, you know, most uh, communities and, and throughout history, the, the men fight and the women heal. That's that's not new information. So, t to have a super strong woman, great. Doesn't mean you're going to break, you know, thousands of years of tradition, especially if, you know, this is a little bit more, you know, of a traditional society if you will but I mean the healing thing able to heal wounds it's nothing to scoff at that's a that's amazing <laughs> to be able to do both would be amazing right like why not learn both why not learn how to heal wounds and you know keep people in the fight and kick a bunch of ass you know what I mean like you can do both you can be both so I think, you know, the, the having her be insulted by not being allowed to fight. Why not learn both? You know what I mean? You just showed that you're capable and that you lost to a master. You know, like there's no masters coming to fight you here other than, you know, Uncle and, you know, Zoku. But I don't think they're coming to fight. They're coming to get the Avatar and take him away. Right? So, clearly the Admiral's not a master. He just admitted he's never been in any kind of battle. So, I don't, I don't think he's going to do much. Although, we did see he was a par fairly competent in, like, the second episode against the uh, Kyoshi, her people, right? He didn't seem like he was cowering or backing down. He was, he was fighting. And then when they, you know, the Avatar showed up through Aang, he retreated because he's not a freaking moron. <laughs> so, I don't know. I think he's underselling himself um, as far as the battle part goes, but then he's he's got he's got something up his sleeve, obviously. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Comments. I'm going to chip out of that one. And we'll jump into the finale here in a bit uh, and see what's next because, uh, you know, it, it, got, it, it done gone too fast, like all these damn shows do. Like, eight episodes. Appreciate it. 
all I can say is at least it's not six. <laughs> you know what I mean? But you, you want more. But, you know, clearly this takes a lot of damn planning. And it's pretty badass. I'm really enjoying it. We'll see how they wrap it up. And let me know in the comments, by the way, how much of, like, the the cartoon, the original show, which is apparently only three seasons, by the way. It's not four. I thought it was four, but it's only three. And then there's The Legend of Korra afterward, which is a big time jump, I'm guessing. But how much of this eight-episode run, like, they get to the North Waterbending community, whatever the North, I can't remember what it's called. How much of that is in the cartoon? Is that all of season one? Because I know there were shorter episodes. So maybe they fit all of season one into this. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you. Finale coming up. We'll talk to you then.